is your man, Smarmy Tank. The number one javelin warrior in Realm Royale. No cap. Listen, you guys. Hope about Realm, current Realm, is at an all-time low right now. What do I mean by that? Well, some of the content creators have slowed down making content, streaming. I've slowed down making content, and streaming. Um, I haven't been making videos like this for a little while um, to put on YouTube. And I wish that I could come on here and tell you, well, I talked to so-and-so and guys, sorry, it's, it's over with, it's dead. They're moving on. Or I'd love to come on here and update you and say, guys, great news. Update six, two weeks out. But I don't have any information either way. So like in the past, when we don't hear from the dev team, a lot of people begin to speculate that it's over. They're just going to leave it alone. They're just going to blah, 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 blah. Okay? We've all heard it. But listen, man. A, a couple years ago, um, Reforged began prior to that. You know, I started making content for this game. Two, three videos a day, putting it on TikTok. Blew up on TikTok. Literally. Whole other story as to why I'm not really doing TikTok anymore. All kinds of issues with streaming to that platform. All kinds of strange requirements. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm back on Twitch Mondays, Sundays, Mondays, and Wednesday nights at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Sometimes sometimes I'll do Reforged Radio at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time on Sunday. And I may not stream that night. So if you see me say, hey, Reforged Radio at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time Sunday, I'll probably play some games, do Reforged Radio, play some games, and then hop off. But what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is this. There are partners like Slicky Nikki working on projects, Realm Hub. <clears throat> he, I don't believe, would continue to work on that thing like it's his own child if there wasn't something that he had a sense of knowing that there's something more to come. And again, this is speculation. This is deductive reasoning. If you do not know what deductive reasoning is, I suggest you go look it up on Google. But what it really boils down to is when you see enough things with your own two eyes and you hear enough things with your own two ears, it's sometimes simple to just put a few of those things together to realize what an outcome could be. You know, um, it's not hard. So if I take that, Slicky Nicky, if I take that, um, you know, there was an April Fool's Day event this year, which requires the devs to hop into a server and mess around with us with chickens in the farmlands uh, near Blacksmith on the new map. It leads me, I'm sure other people to think to themselves, well, they're working on the game. I mean, they're doing stuff, you know. Um, there was about a month period of time where I want to say Shiz was popping into streamers who were live on Twitch and putting different modes together for sniper onlys and stuff live like and if you want to join join this is a basically a dev created lobby that there's going to be weird crazy fun stuff happening and again all that does for someone like me and i'm sure the rest of the community especially the younger side of the community is it gives them hope that something's happening with the game however i feel stupid because i did not deductively reason one thing that's been really just gnawing on me for the last couple days. I heard someone referring to a policy live on their stream and they mentioned something about one of the policies at the company that makes this game. What I thought was interesting about the comment was that I didn't know why the person made it wasn't sure where it came from. I kind of came in on the middle of the conversation, but just the part of it that I heard made me think that person's communicating and or might even work for the studio that makes this game. Now, again, that's not what the video is about, but 
again, it just kind of goes to that deductive reasoning of like, hey, here's some people working on a game. Here's some people talking about the company. Here's the developer, you know, hopping into games and doing some crazy stuff. But what I'm really interested in telling you guys about today is this. Thor has on more than one occasion said on X in messages, I'm working on Unreal Engine 5 and I have some things planned for Paladins and Realm. Now stop, time out, breaks. Let's break that sentence down because he's said almost the identical thing more than five or six times over the last five or six months when he's responded to a question about Realm. I'm working on Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so let's put that in perspective. What do we know that High res Studios has currently going that is being put and built on Unreal Engine 5? We know that it's Smite 2, been announced. We know that about a week after Smite announced they were gonna be moving their whole game to Unreal Engine 5, Stuart Chisholm, the CEO of High res Studios, the owner of High res Studios, sent out a tweet saying, no promises, but if we made Paladins 2, what would you guys like to see? Okay, so let's go back. Thor says he's working hard on Unreal Engine 5. Okay, so does that mean he's working on Smite? I mean, I've seen him comment on a Smite post, but I don't see a lot of Smite content coming from him. I've never heard him say he's working on Smite. So I could deductively reason from that, that between the comment that Stuart made and the comments that he regularly makes, potentially he's trying to put Paladins on Unreal Engine 5, which, ding, 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 ding. If they built Paladins on Unreal Engine 5, they'd have the same scenario they had when they built Paladins Battlegrounds, which if you don't know, is currently the game we play called Realm Royale Reforged. I, in speaking to Old Victor, if you do not know who Old Victor is, he is a very nice gentleman who does a lot of side work and help and and he's just a helpful guy when it comes to realm especially with art type stuff and creation of you know potential stuff that could be in the game that he's always sharing with people and sharing in the discord sharing with people like me and it's just cool it's just cool to hang out with him and see him old victor and i were chit chatting live on stream a couple nights ago three four nights ago and victor said something to the effect of i i would hope that if they do make a second realm royale game from paladins that they don't call it you know, I said that I hope they don't call it Realm Royale 2. He said, yeah, it would be nice if they called it um, Realm Battlegrounds. And I was like, dude, yes. I got that so hard that the few nights later when I was playing with them again, I mentioned it to him and he's like, yeah, that's what I was saying. And I'm like, wait, okay, that was you that said it. You know, so I, I was kind of like thinking I came up with it on my own, but I didn't. Um, but I knew from the last time I made a video similar to this one that I thought that Paladins Battlegrounds would be a better name for any version of this game that comes out as Realm Royale 2. But when he says, Thor, that I'm working and I have plans, I'm planning, there's plans for Realm and Paladins, again, he threw Paladins in that sentence. Like, I've never heard him talk about Paladins in my entire life. I don't even know if I've ever seen him play Paladins. I'm sure he has, but I really believe that we're going to get no information whatsoever that I think when they finally launch Smite, which I believe is this summer, I believe the second half of this year could be an announcement about Paladins 2 and an announcement about a battle royale that will be part of that game that they will leave unnamed. I believe that that game will be our beloved Realm Royale on Unreal Engine 5, an entirely brand new game. And again, I'm kicking myself for not seeing this sooner, but he says in almost every single response, working on Unreal Engine 5, I have plans for Paladins and Realm Royale. Really? What, 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 what kind of plans do you have for Paladins and Realm Royale while you're working hard on Unreal Engine 5, Thor? Hmm? Hmm? Guys, this is all speculation, but I feel weird and strong about it. Like, 
I don't want to be critical of Thor at all. But I hate that it seems to be a theme, whoever the dev has been for the game we're playing, that this kind of stuff happens and it's really frustrating. And at the same time, I've gotten to know him a little bit. And I know that as long as he keeps sending out messages saying that he's working on things, then I just have to be patient and continue enjoying the game, which by the way, I enjoy a ton right now. This game's the best it's ever been. The weapons, the loophole, everything's amazing. Um, does it need an update? Hell yeah. It needs some bug fixes. It needs, you know, console to be able to play their games without crashing or getting in the lobbies. But I know you're going to, you're going to be critical of me for defending high res, defending evil mojo, defending Thor, defending shiz, defending whoever. But at this point, I'm going to go on the no news is good news concept which so far in the last three years has been a great way to go if you didn't notice we've got an unbelievable game we've got an unbelievably competitive lobby um with less bots in it more real people the lobbies pop pretty regularly and during some of the peak times um i'll go off of east coast time say from two or three o'clock east eastern to like 10 o'clock eastern i've seen 50 60 40 player lobbies and if you've not played this game in a long time that's a huge amount of real players in this game on a small map and it's been an absolute blast to play it so that's it you guys don't forget i stream sunday mondays wednesdays on twitch dot whatever wherever it's at twitch.tv forward slash farming tank i post videos here on youtube i post short videos 30 seconds to two minutes on tiktok all the links below are for all the realm stuff, all my stuff, stats, anything you want in the world is going to be in the description. Guys, I don't believe hope is dead. I don't know how I feel, whether I want an update worse than I want to wait six months to a year for a new version of our game. I don't know which of the two I'm more frustrated with. But at the end of the day, until they tell me no, until they tell me this game's dead, I'm going to keep going. Guys. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to be good and be kind to other people. I'll see you guys in the room.